Hi guys. Hey everyone. Welcome back to We Watch Weedin. Yes. Um, I had a question for you. I, I love it. All what right. is it? I am obsessed with TikTok and dressing up and being not myself because everybody already knows this. I love theater. I love cosplay. Yeah. And I was wondering, Okay. would you ever do a cosplay character of somebody in the Buffyverse? Probably cosplay as the master. Ooh! I think it'd be more fun to like make do my the face full all... makeup? Yeah. Oh man. I think that'd be a little more fun than I put in the contacts and all that good stuff. That would take some time for real though. You know that. What about you? <laughs> Faith, of course. So go, uh -huh. go catch me on TikTok and convince Kyle to finally do TikTok and, and be the master because I think that would be really cool. I think you should do it. Yeah. Yeah. You guys cosplay? You smell this bad when you were alive? <laughs> yep. He's actually hurt her more than like most of the vampires. The past billion vampires she's fought. So what? He was like a super vampire or something? No, he was the regular kind. And if you're asking me how it happened, I don't Dawn! Sorry to interrupt the sex pades. I just wanted to tell you that. Hi, Riley. That well, was nice of her ish. Buffy, when you have a minute, I'd, I'd like to go over the grocery list for next week. You got it. Are you disinfecting something? Uh, mine. Um, some nail polish experiments are due before they even begin. But you keep pushing the envelope, honey. Go on. Who's the man? You are. A very short, annoying man. You didn't have to say annoying, Buffy. Thank I you. I something you promise you won't tell. What? Stab? I got it. You're covered. We're good. Do me a favor. You take the gang along with? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Riley! What's the, um, uh, all about? It means yell real loud so the vampires who don't know we're coming will have a sporting chance. See, now he's all mad and sarcastic. <laughs> oh, Mr. Stealthy Pants. Look, I realize that every Slayer comes with an expiration mark on the package, but I want mine to be a long time from now, like a Cheeto. If there are just a few good descriptions of what took out the other slayers, maybe it would help me to understand, to keep it from happening again. Yes. Go so ask Spike. He took one out. Final battles would be very helpful, but uh, there's no one left to tell the tales. What? What do you want? Slayers. You killed two of them. You're gonna show me how. <laughs> Wild, eh? And... Since I agreed to your little proposition, we can do this my way. Wings. What? Wings? Spicy buffalo wings. Oh. Order me up a plate. I'm feeling peckish. She's just gonna use the money she was gonna give you, though. That's what I thought. Were you born this big a pain in the ass? And what can I tell you, baby? I've always been bad. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> What's another word for cleaving? It's a perfectly perfect word as many words ago. But the bottom is nothing rhymes, you see. Dreaming. What do you think of this version of it? It's like a, a Giles son. <laughs> Don't withhold William. Rescue us from a dreary topic. Look, careful. The ink is too wet. It's still wet. Please, it's not finished. My heart expands. Tis grown abulgent. Inspired by your beauty effulgent. <laughs> They call him William the Bloody because of his bloody awful poetry. It suits him. I'd rather have a railroad spike <laughs> in my head than listen to that awful stuff. A railroad spike in my head. William the Bloody. I just imagined it was because he was a killer. Oh, your poetry is... Not written about me, are they? Every syllable. Oh, God. And uh, please, if they're no good, they're only words, but... The feeling behind them. I love you, Cecily. Please stop. It's that you try to see me. I do see you. No. You're nothing to me, William. 
But he's so precious. You're beneath me. Oh, you did. <laughs> I just know that he's gonna turn into a vampire and he's gonna come after you. Now I understand why he was all grumpy and... And I wonder what possible catastrophe came crashing down from heaven and brought this dashing stranger to tears. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You wish to be alone. <laughs> Burning baby fish swimming all around your head. Uh, that, that's quite close enough. <laughs> they need a purse. God, I love her. Your wealth. Laws here. And here. In the spirit and imagination. Gosh, you're so creepy. In you walking worlds the others can't begin to imagine. She should have at least been nominated for an Emmy. Uh. I see what you want. Something effulgent. My words. Do you want to? Oh, yes. God, yes. So he knows. He does not. Well, he touched her heart and didn't reveal a beat. He thought she was providing something else. He's a bit confused, but he's letting it happen. She's literally ow, killing you. Ow, 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 ow. That's how you get spiked. That's how little Spanky Spike was made. <laughs> what is she carrying? Ah. Oh, it's a bunch. Forget about crashing. It's too many of them. We'll come back at daybreak when they're asleep and we're better armed. I was through living by society's rules. I decided to make a few of my own. What's that? Yorkshire. 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 It's it's spike now. We barely got out of London alive because of you. Everywhere we go, it's the same story. And now... You've got me and my women hiding in the luxury of a mine shaft. All because William the Bloody likes the attention. That I sully our good name, we're vampires. All the more reason to use a certain amount of finesse. Bollocks! I love the dynamic of now he's taking off Angelus, who just ticked off the master. So it's just I like. Think our boys are going too far. Very true. Sure. Cups, it's, it's a picnic. <laughs> and the girls are just. This is not his birthday. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love Darla's response to her. She's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, what was the last time you unleashed it? No, you get that. You can't keep this His up. His laugh over. is infectious. I love it. If I can't teach you, maybe someday an angry crowd will. That. Or the Slayer. What's a Slayer? After that, I was obsessed. So, how'd you kill her? Probably you should ask. Lesson the first. A slayer must always reach for her weapon. This is a past slayer. Yeah, I almost want to like piece these episodes together from Angel and Buffy into one cohesive storyline or anything. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, if we saw her show, this would be how it ends. Yeah. <laughs> I don't speak Chinese. In any case, I don't think you would. You ever hear them say, the blood of a slayer is a powerful aphrodisiac? There's a new chosen one getting all chosen as we speak. I'll tell you what. I smell fear. And this whole place reeks of it. That's the best night of my life. This place is so pretty. The problem with you, Summers, is you've gotten so good, you're starting to think you're immortal. Not really. I just know I can handle myself. You have to explain this. No! Oh, God! <sighs> So that's it? Lesson over? Not even close. So if he was willing to feel the brunt of all the pain, yeah, could he potentially stab somebody? And you went back by yourself? It's mostly dead things. Of course. 
stick it up for his girl, I guess. What? Give it to me. It's one way to take out the dance. <laughs> if it works. Less than a second. Ask the right questions. The question is, why they lose? What's the difference? It's a big difference, love. How'd you kill the second one? A bit like this. How'd you kill him, Spike? It's really trying. You're not ready to know. I'm ready. Oh. Okay, then. We're like this. Nineteen seventy seven. You never get to stop. That's cool. Every day you wake up to the same bloody question that haunts you. It's the day the day I die. <laughs> Part of you wants it. Death is your art. You make it with your hands day after day. Every slayer has a death wish. <laughs> Or not. Even you. The only reason you've lasted as long as you have is you've got ties to the world. Mum, rat kid sister, Scoobies. They all try you here. But you're just putting off the red book. This is so interesting it's that they're like swapping it. this. You're gonna want it. And the second, the second that happens. You know I'll be there. I'll slip in. Come on. One good swing, you know you want to. I mean it. So do I. What the hell are you doing? Come on. You know you want to dance. Say I do want to. It would never be you. I'm okay with that. <laughs> There's still a chance for a spike in three. You're six bloody feet in it, you. Projecting. Has it got a death wish? Mm -hmm. I haven't said a word about the bloody slayer since we left California. But you're lying! You keep punishing me. Carrying on with creatures like this. <laughs> uh, you guys obviously have a thing going on here. What is it? I'm uh, staying overnight at the hospital for observation. And they say, even if there is something, it's still very early if they didn't see it before. <sighs> I'm gonna be fine. What's wrong? I don't wanna talk about it. Is there something I can do? Oh, come on, Spike. I see a budding romance and I hate it. <laughs> is that what you see? Oh, so that's what I see. I think he's going to totally turn on to the good side just because he has a crush on Buffy. I don't know if she's going to actually accept the budding romance, but I think this is going to be a thing. It's kind of one of those things they've hated each other for so long that they just twisted it into now this strong negative emotion has been flipped into the strong positive emotion, immediately flip sides. And it can happen like that, but I don't like the drastic mix of it, and it just happened because of a dream. Did I ever tell you that Joss Whedon never intended to keep Spike as long as he did? Yes. And did I tell you that gen genuinely he didn't actually like the character that much? No, I don't think you told me that. Well, just food for thought. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent episode. I was enthralled the entire time. Uh, I had my hopes up because I wanted to see something drastic happen. In a way, it kind of did, even though it's it's sparking from something I didn't want. It was so good. And I also, it, he was still using his manipulative powers, trying to get into her head about like, ask for me to kill you. That's what I want right now and all this. And that was like, oh, that's cool. I loved all the pieces being given to us, including the Drusilla part, where it literally tells you the answer because there was no definitive answer. You just started up that, that following season and With suddenly- With no truth, yeah. Yeah, and they gave that to us. And this, this season, for me personally, is my favorite season of Buffy. I still love what's to come, but I just love this season. That monologue. Oh, that monologue. <laughs> that was a good monologue. <laughs> so what's interesting is what's happening during that monologue, which mm -hmm. only adds to the scene, is if you watch the fight style, like, 
Every, every Slayer, and you've only seen a little bit here and there, but every Slayer has kind of their own unique fighting style. That last Slayer that he killed, if you watch the way she moves, it's very similar to how Buffy moves. Mm -hmm. And in a sense, that moment when they're sparring or they're dancing, if he didn't have that chip in, it would have been just a repeat of what you were seeing in that Yeah, scene. I saw that. That's I know it's a bit ridiculous to ask this question after this many seasons, but are you a fan of the show at all? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> have you seen how much time I've dedicated this to? <laughs> Money from all those shirts and cosplay stuff I'm getting for it. All the time on TikTok at home when you're not around. Oh my gosh, I like this show. And this was another Actually, this was a really awesome episode of We Watched Weeding with Buffy. And we done watched it. Hell yeah. Something in my eye. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. It's not a tear, I swear. <laughs> From that episode? Shut up! I'm not crying, you're crying! <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching and thanks for your, all of your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and uh, staying notified. And Make sure you subscribe to our Patreon.